Are you having a hard time trying to figure out where to start in ClickUp? Today, we're gonna to be walking you through the ClickUp interface as a new user. If you're setting up ClickUp for your team, it can be a bit daunting in the beginning. So we're gonna keep it super simple today. We're gonna to show you the navigation in ClickUp. We're gonna set up your home view, adjust your notifications, and create basic boards and view so you can get started with confidence. Let's dive in. I've logged into ClickUp and I'm currently in my home view. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the navigation. So if you click on the sidebar icon on the left-hand side, this is gonna open up your sidebar. So you have two parts of your sidebar. The top half of your navigation is where you're gonna find the different functions of ClickUp, such as reporting, dashboards, timesheets, all of that type of data that you really need to manage your work. On the bottom half, this is where you're gonna find your spaces. Your spaces is where all of your projects and your tasks and just all of your general work will live. So let's start from the top path. The home view is your personal command center. It's a place where you can manage your work. So all of the tasks assigned to you, meetings that you have on your agenda, you will see that in your home view. The inbox is where you're gonna see notifications for activity across tasks that you are involved in, whether you're assigned or whether tasks that you've commented. You can modify what shows up in your inbox in your notification settings. We'll go through that in a little bit later of this video. Chat. This is where you can send messages directly to your team or you can create channels for specific topics or specific projects that you and your team need to collaborate on. Then we have dashboards to create different dashboards. So if you're trying to see some time tracking metrics or if you need to see some project data, you're able to create those dashboards. We have timesheets for you to look at time tracked for your own personal time as well as all timesheets for all of your team members. If you click on more, there are a lot more items here, a lot more different functions within ClickUp that you are able to pin or unpin depending on whether you need to see them. So you are able to customize the sidebar based on what you actually use. And this is gonna be different for you, it's gonna be different for your team. So if you're a manager, I would recommend pinning dashboards because you might need to have some more insight on just the high level reporting and status for your clients or for your projects. For general team members, dashboards might not be super relevant and your team might need more of their attention on timesheets. So you can go ahead and unpin dashboards. You can pin it back. You're able to adjust this for your preference. So just kind of define what makes sense for you, define what makes sense for your team and, and set this up accordingly. All right, let's go into the bottom half of our navigation. As I said, spaces is where you are able to manage your actual work. So I have different spaces created for my different departments, different areas of work. So I have my social media marketing space, and this is where I manage work for my social media team. We have account management. So any of my account projects or my you know specific list of accounts would live within this space. So you're able to build this for what you and your team need. That is the navigation sidebar in a nutshell. Let's go ahead and go into the home view. The home view in ClickUp is designed to help you stay focused on what's important, your tasks, your meetings, and your personal to-dos. It's a central hub that pulls in everything assigned to you from across the workspace so that you don't have to really dig into folders. You don't have to dig in a list. You can just kind of have this as a snapshot of your attention. So let's go into how we can set this up to make it work for you. Let's customize the home view. So on the top right hand, you'll see a button labeled manage card. So this is really how you are able to adjust what is on your home view. Your home view might look different than mine, um, but there are really only a few widgets that I think are super valuable. I personalize my home view to really give me a focused view of what I need to work on. So I have the my work widget added up here. You might see your recent. I removed this widget. I don't really need to see a list of ClickUp objects that I've recently viewed. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. The way to remove it is just by checking added and it removes it and it shows you that by it showing add to overview. I don't need AI stand up, so I'm gonna remove that. I don't need the priorities. I don't use that that much. I really wanna keep this a simple view. So I have the My Work widget. The purpose of the My Work widget is just to show my work across all of my spaces based on when it's due. So I have nothing due today. I can add a task in here and I can say test task. I can select what space I want it to be in. So if I have a social media task, I can go ahead and create that. 
And now I see that I have one task due today. If I have any overdue tasks, task due a little bit later, that will show in the respective sections here. So I think this widget is super valuable. Then we have our personal list. If you want to create tasks that are private to you, the personal list is super valuable for that. It allows you to just do any type of work that you have to do that your team doesn't have to be aware of. So if you want to do some prep for a meeting, you can create that task, prep for client meeting. And if you create these tasks, these aren't visible to anybody in your team. But if you later decide that this task should be visible to your team, you're always able to move it out of your personal list into a shared team list. So just a good thing to kind of be aware of. So I have my work widget. I have my personal list widget down here. And then we have our agenda. So your agenda is going to show you the tasks that you have due for that day. You can also connect your calendar so you can see your meetings alongside your tasks due for that day. So let's go ahead and click on this calendar icon and we're going to hit add calendar. So you have the option if you use Apple Calendar, Google Calendar, or Outlook Calendar. I'm going to go ahead and connect my Google Calendar. Click done. And now we are connected. I can see that my calendar is now connected. I see the tasks that I have due for today. And now I also see my meetings. I see that I have an internal meeting with my team today. And if I click on this, I'm able to open in Google Calendar and I can join my meeting from there. So um, pretty cool. It allows me to just kind of see my meetings and my tasks in one view. So that is the agenda widget. And then the last widget I have here is the assigned to me widget. This is similar to the my work widget. It's just structured a little bit differently. I'm able to filter this in different ways. So if I want to only see tasks in a specific list, I can filter this accordingly and pretty much set this to just kind of see how I want to see my work. So if I want to group this by status or if I want to group this by a specific task type, I'm able to make those updates. So similar to my work, just structured a little bit differently. So if you kind of visually need to see your work in a different way, you can use the assigned to me. So those are the widgets that I like to use. I'm going to go ahead and remove assigned comments too. I have these four widgets that I'm using. And you're also able to change the size of your card. So if the my work is a little bit slim, I can kind of make that a little bit smaller. If I need to make this a little bit wider, I'm able to do that. So you can kind of set this however you like. The home view, like I said, this is a personal view. So any changes you make here are not going to affect your team. It is specific to your account. That's really everything that you need to know for the home view. Next thing we're going to go into is the notification setup. One of the biggest frustrations that our clients experience in a project management tool is too many notifications. You might see notifications in your email for any updates to tasks that are assigned to you. You might see notifications in your phone. You might see notifications in the tool itself. It becomes a little bit overwhelming and it almost makes you not want to use the tool. So for that, we are going to update your notification settings so it's a little bit more reasonable. So in your ClickUp, you're going to go ahead and go to the top right hand side where you see your avatar and you're going to go into notification settings. So ClickUp has made this pretty easy at this point. Their default notification settings is a little bit overwhelming, like I said, but what you're able to do is you have four different sections. So you have your inbox and this is the inbox function in your navigation in ClickUp. There is a default setting. And the default is just ClickUp's recommended setting. It pretty much notifies you for task comments, task activity, chat messages, and it just is a lot of notifications. I typically leave my inbox to a focused setting and focus is just keeping track of work without attention overload. And I think that that is the ideal across all of these. You're able to customize as well. So if you don't want to have it in the focus setting and if you wanted to kind of decide what you get notification for, you can click on custom and you can go through this. So for task comments, you can enable and disable whichever notifications that you do and you don't want. You'll see that some of these are required. So if I go into chat messages, I can disable messages assigned to me. So I'm gonna keep this in focus, but if you wanna kind of come in here and reduce the noise even more, you are able to just disable 
all chat message notifications, or if you want to make it particular ones, you can just kind of disable the specific ones that you want. So we're going to set that to focus. Same thing for email. Um, ClickUp's recommended default sends a lot of email notifications. So same thing here. You can either keep it to focus or you can do mentions. So only receive notifications for app mentions. So you do have the ability to customize this pretty heavily. All right. Our browser notifications are disabled. I think that's fine. And I do like to use mobile. So I'm going to keep this mentions only as well. Now, the benefit of this is if you are heavily using ClickUp and you're already going to be in the list, in your home view, managing your tasks and making sure that you're keeping up on keeping up to date on the tasks that are assigned to you for specific due dates, you don't need all of those notifications to your email and to your inbox and to your mobile. So this is where you can make those adjustments to to make it work for you. All right, I would recommend that you go through this activity with your team right when you get into ClickUp so that your team doesn't get discouraged when using ClickUp. All right, so that is our notifications. The last thing that we're gonna jump into in this video today is our actual project boards. So to manage the actual work for our projects, I have a PMO space and this is where I will have all of my project lists. We have our Dunder Mifflin website development project. So for this project, we have all of these tasks created and we have a list view. So if I click on this plus view up here, these are all of the different views and you know functions that um, ClickUp offers. So you can pretty much look at your data in different ways. So a list view is a standard view for you to just track your tasks in a very standard, almost like Gantt type format, where you can see a list of your tasks and you can organize it in different ways that you'd like. Now, if you're more of a Kanban person, you can hit add view and you can um, select this board and Kanban function. I just added this view. This doesn't mean that I created all of these tasks again. These are the same tasks. This is just a different way to look at it. So if I look at this tasks view and if I look at this board view, this is the same information across both of these. It's just like I said, a different format. So some folks prefer lists and some folks prefer board. So it's just more of kind of giving those different options. So in this board view, you're able to now pretty much start working through your tasks. If you have your team jumping into the Kanban board view, they can look at tasks assigned to them and drag them through the different statuses. So dragging them from to do to in progress and kind of drag it until it's complete, just very native Kanban functions in this view. Same thing with tasks. I'm able to update the status right over here for my tasks. So if you know you need to kind of go through your work, and update the status, this would be the column to do so. So if I open up my tasks, this is where I'm able to see all of the information for my tasks. This is my um, task record detail view. So this gives me all of the information for this one specific task, but in this view, I'm able to see just kind of like a zoomed out view of all of my tasks that I have for my Dunder Mifflin website development project. So we have the list view, we have the board view. If you want, you're able to click add view and look through different ways that you can visualize the work. So if you wanna see a table view, this is like I said, just another option that you have. So if you like Google Sheet and Excel more, if that's just a view that works easier for your eyes, you are able to use this view as well. Sometimes there are too many custom fields that are shown. Sometimes there aren't enough. So you're always able to hit customize on the right hand side where you can customize your view settings and you can select fields and enable and disable whichever fields that you want to show. If you need to create additional fields, you can click on create field, but I would always recommend just kind of keeping it minimal. Don't create too many fields, but if you want to have additional columns shown, in my list view, I have budget and spend. I don't see that in my table view. I can always come in here and I can add those fields right here. So if I search budget, I can see that this task lives in this location already. I just have to toggle it on. And same thing with spend, toggle it on. And I'll see that these columns are now part of this table view. Same thing with board. You can customize this view as well. If you wanna see more, or if you wanna see less, you customize your view settings 
and you can add some additional fields. You can put some filters if you want to see specific tasks and kind of update the layout option. So if you want to change like the interface a little bit, if you want to see the task location, you can toggle that and it'll tell you which list it lives in. If you want to collapse empty columns, so there's different functions so you can kind of modify the layout to your liking. And that is different ways that you can visualize your project work. And that's it. Just a quick walkthrough to help you get started with ClickUp. We covered your home view, the navigation, notifications, and how to switch between different ways to view your work. If this helped, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you'd like to see some more specifics on any of the functions we covered, go ahead and comment below and we'll try to get to it. Thank you.